It's our time with an uncaler. Uh, just kidding, it's Gavin. Baby hands taking over. Welcome everyone to the Smite Art Show. If you're not familiar with the Smite Art Show, uh, and maybe this is your first time viewing, maybe. Uh, it's generally something uh, we just sit around and talk about art. We check out some of the uh, community fan art that we've had submitted, that we get a lot submitted each week. So and many. Join us for this, this. Join us, everyone. So yeah, guys, uh, that's the art show. This is the art show. We're having a good time. This is where we draw things, things. for you. Or like, no. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. We do lots of stuff. So yeah, guys, if uh, you were watching the past show, we gave you guys a challenge, uh, which was draw our YouTube thumbnail. And we got some really good ones from you guys, like excellent ones. So you will be seeing that on our YouTube thumbnail thing down there. So uh, the challenge for this week, though, we thought it'd be really cool to give you guys a tattoo design challenge, yeah. where you would draw a really cool tattoo design um, of Smite Gods. So yeah, like make it tribal if you want, or make it like really artsy. Bonus if you manage to get the full tattoo within a week. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's not do Fine. that. Fine, no bonus. Let's not do that. But if you, you know, if you're, if you're okay with tattoos, your family's okay with tattoos, and, and you like getting tattoos, then I mean, just go, get it go done. ahead. Go ahead, girl. And remember so. that uh, the winner of the challenge gets 200 bonus gems on if they uh, are selected as a top pick of the week. Yep. So that's the challenge, guys, and I will be posting a little thing on Twitter for you guys to know exactly what the challenge is with a lot more information, due dates, and everything like that. One more thing, guys. Uh, in the past, we provided a slideshow with all the artwork that might not have made it on the art show. Now we're scrapping that, and we're going to have a Tumblr provided for you guys, and the link will be somewhere down here in this area. Ooh, shiny. So all of your artwork, if it didn't make it on the show, it will be on the Tumblr. So enjoy that. All right, well, let's uh, move right along into the uh, fan arts submissions. This is a segment where we go through about 20 of the pieces that we think that you guys should never, ever miss. Don't so miss them. So join us. Join we're us. going to talk about them. Join us on this adventure. On onward. There. Hi, guys. Welcome to the fan art section. Uh, our first piece here is by Bodie Nelson. It looks like uh, we actually looked at this piece last week. Um, but this is the colored version, and oh, man, does it look wonderful. I, I like this so much more with color than, uh, and it was already a really awesome piece. Very intense. This next one is by Brandon Birch, and it's a nice traditional pencil sketch of Scylla. I like it. She's got big old hair, and uh, I just love pencil sketches. I think it looks beautiful. Very well shaded, and I think it's really, really tiny. That's why, like, it's so grainy, but I love that. I love that you managed to squeeze in so much detail in like her hair and everything like that in her eyes. It reminds me almost of Kayla's style. Very well done, Brandon Birch. Uh, this next piece by Chris Turner. This is, uh, I believe this is Athena. She's got them strong anime eyes. Damn. Like, <laughs> strong. But otherwise, uh, they're, you're, your lines are wonderful. Like the line work on this and the shading, the fact that you use just straight lines to do the shading on her neck. And it's on and, notebook paper. And her hair, and this is just, this is a great piece. This next one is by Ilian Gullian, Gullian, and it's Knox. But what I really like about this piece is that I think you did it on purple construction paper and then lightened it with maybe some pastels or chalk or maybe colored pencils even. But you gave her long hair, which I love. I actually really like her with long hair. And it's got a little bit of a twist too. She's got that, that bang side just kind of doing a nice flip. Plus that really lip shine well done. Though. Yeah, that lip shine. That, that's when it's really awesome to have a solid white pen or marker to use on these, so it really brings out the shine of the gold of the feathers and on her, of her lips. So, good job, Elian. Uh, this <laughs> next piece by Ingus Viskers. This is just... Come here, you little piece of ship. <laughs> <laughs> Properly censored. <laughs> but I feel ya. I mean, like, every time I ult is like any, or really anyone who has an ult that Cupid can just be like, peace, with his little dash, I'm so angry. You sure that isn't Gavin that you drew? His tiny fecking legs? Okay, bye. This next one is by John B. Traditional pencil sketch. Um, and it is uh, from top to bottom. It is Chabalanke. You got Chang'e down there. You got Fenrir, Sun Wukong, and oh, Sobek. Just chilling. <laughs> Just chilling. I really love the transitions of all these gods. First, you have Chabalanke and Chang'e, who are known to be moon gods, chilling. And then you have the nice ethereal clouds around them. 
uh, around Sun Wukong because he is, uh, he did live in the kingdom, in, in the sky or whatever. He, he was like in the heavens. He also had a flying cloud. Yeah, and also, yeah, thank you, that too. Fenrir on a cliffside and then Sobek down below maybe, I don't know, in a creek or something. But either way, beautifully done, beautifully shaded. Excellent job, John B. Get out of here. All right, moving moving along. Yeah. Next one. Oh, I love this. This is actually one of the submissions that we got. One of the few. We didn't get too many, but uh, this one's fantastic. This is by Jordan Taylor, and it is for the YouTube thumbnail contest or challenge that we gave you guys, um, and it is Hostile Takeover. It's taken from the thumbnail that we have currently that I drew of me as Anubis and um, Gavin as Sun Wukong and me using grasping hands on him. So this is, this is really cute. Thank you so much, Jordan. This piece by Joseph Taylor is raw, and it looks like he's kind of just like appearing over the pyramids just to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna put this sun in the sky. He's balanced so that's precariously. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just... I like it. But this is great. As, as the like the sun god, he's, he's doing his job, and the colors are great. I love that you kind of show his, his scale by showing that there's like space just above the clouds. It's really cool gives a really uh, good sense of grandeur for this piece. Also his lore, he actually like um, was trying to separate Nut, the, the, uh -huh. the goddess of the sky, from Geb. So it's oh, kind of like, yeah, there it's kind of a nice little oh. Oh, dang. tilt of the hat to that. So good job, Jose. This next piece is by Kroll Kushi, and it's uh, Naja or Meja? Naja. Okay, Naja, pirate cabin boy. Yes, guys, Naja is a boy. Filling out that, that role of, uh, or, you know, we have all these that pirate, pirate skins. That yeah. pirate, yeah. Actually, this should be the next pirate skin. We should have Naja as a cabin boy, because this is fantastic. With the suds and everything, everything that is quintessentially cabin boy. Because if you remember, uh, what's it called, Hawkins or whatever, from Treasure Island, they all look like this, the striped pants. Um, but what I love about it is that it's traditionally drawn. We have a lot of traditional pieces this week, and I can't couldn't be happier. It looks so good. Good job, Carl. This next piece by Lucy Frals, and this is uh, uh, Aphrodite, and it's just a facial shot, but it's I like what you did with the, um, I guess the background, it, it brings attention to her face, and it also seems thematically her style as well. Plus, uh, the skin tones are really nice. Is that, uh, no it's not. Uh, fr it's originally I thought it was colored pencil, but that is Photoshop. Now Buddha Photoshop. That, that means you did a good job in Photoshop. Yeah, you killed it. Killed it, Lucy. Good job. This one, I adore this one. This is by Maria Luz Manrique. Hey, girl. And this is her and her bestie cosplaying as Thanos and Kronos, or Thanatotes and Kronos. This is adorable. I would love to actually see somebody commission, or not commission, cosplay these two characters together. It would be so awesome. But regarding the drawing, the piece itself, um, the coloring already, like we've had Maria on the show before, and she always kills it with these colors and everything. She's always done such really, really good work. So. This is insane. Down to the detail of Kronos, his inner workings in the in the main torso, to the little faces, the little smiley faces on her friend or Thanatos' uh, skin. That's just really cute. And it's chibi style, but not quite chibi. Like there's still enough detail and the bodies aren't that small. So this is actually my perfect definition of chibi. Excellent job. Good job. Yeah. This is by oh. Minty Oink and See this, I actually saw this and was like, oh, this is actually really cool. And I saw this and was like, this is, Oh God, I, what, what did you do? It looks like you like colored it on a piece of paper and then just like modge, hodgepodged it or modgepodged it onto the retainer, whatever that thing is. Reg <laughs> regardless, this is a pretty creative submission. I, I don't think uh. we've ever seen any other <laughs> dental wear with smite theme being- New challenge, dental wear. <laughs> submitted, oh man. Oh, God. But definitely unique. I'll give you that. Unique as unique as hell. Minty, you're you're weird. I like it. This next one is by Paul Quintero, and it's a man neath, a male neath. I really like this concept of a vest instead of like a shirt mm -hmm. or or just like the bare chest. Because in the past we've had artists go ahead and they take a female character and do the little gender bending thing, and it's always either like bare chest or or just a shirt or something else. So I really like the vest idea. It still gives that. Um, the design, the general bikini design up top, without really making it like, you know. 
yeah. boob centric. Yeah. So <laughs> excellent job, Paul Quintero. Uh, <laughs> Peace by <laughs> Vladimir Vutin. <laughs> I, li I, I like how you change up your name every week, and it's not hard to figure out who you are. Can we focus on the bear? It's not a lion, it's a no, bear. No, actually, I'd like to focus on the nipple, because it oh, is a God. triangle uh. monstrosity. <laughs> There's just so <laughs> much going wrong with this piece. Oh my God. He's, the musculature looks pretty good, but oh my God, the head, the the little teddy bear that are like strapped to his shoulder. This is um the Laffy Taffy this red is, thing. Yeah. <laughs> the strip of Laffy Taffy <laughs> holding the teddy bears to his chest. It's this so is good. just very this is uh, interesting. This is awesome. This is awesome, Vladimir Vutin. Great great piece. <laughs> this is so good. This next one is by Rain Halberd and it's Neith. Shot coming your way. She's about to fire off one of her shots, one of her, her arrows. Um, I love this. You mixed um, digital work with the background that's taken from the game, a screenshot maybe. Um, I really like it. It's just really well done. The detail is insane. And you submitted the uh, the black and white version to us a long time oh, ago right, via exactly. Twitter, which was awesome. So we love seeing yeah. that you're uh, coming back to your pieces and and you know coloring them in. That's yeah. great. I really like the face and the pose is great. Good job, Rain. All right, so this piece is by Saba Gakharia. And this is a, uh, a very like loose drawing of Vulcan. How do you like it, Gavin, pronouncing names? How do you like it? I'm, I'm fucking kicking ass. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <we> can <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Gonna have to censor that one. Bleep. Uh, but this, this piece is great. It's just, there's a, uh, this style, I like it. it. It feels like there's energy to each like uh, stroke of the pen it's tool. It's loose lines, for it's sure. It's loose lines, and it, it still gets the, uh, I guess, the point of the picture across. And I think it makes his, uh, gives him a sense of movement. Also kinda. the fact that it's monochromatic, because Vulcan's usually uh, known for being orange. Yeah, orange and red, and yeah. this, is, this is cool. It's either blue. monochromatic or it's like it's an ice like skin. It's like of his soul. Because you know how he's, he's like, oh, he's, a, he he's a pouty really dude. Sad. He's a pouty dude. He's blue. Baba so, I don't know if die. you meant to make it this deep, but it's deep. If I was green, I would die. No, stop this <laughs> All right, this next one's by Sarah Rudder. Oh my God, Sarah, I absolutely adore this. You always have such a great, fresh, cute style, but this I love. You put a little bit more detail into the pieces, made it more vectorish almost, and you completed, like mostly you do, um, what's it called, bust shots for us. But here you actually gave us the full body, and it looks so cute. I adore this style. Please continue doing this style. So this next piece is by Sina Holtzman. She's usually known for her kind of chibi-esque uh, drawings that she's done, but this piece she did uh, like a full standard um, body piece in, uh, of Isis with an, uh, kind of an alternative look. She's got the blue wings. Uh, of, I like the transparency to her dress. I think that's really cool. It's like Isis Valkyrie, that's the title. Oh, down there. there. So I guess go. like maybe trying to show. No, no, that's uh, that's that's her user. Oh, hey girl. That's little little Valkyrie. Oops. I love but, this. I love that the skirt job. is see through. <laughs> I really love the skirt. But is the, see -through. the the way you use your colors, everything looks very bright and so happy. Every time I see it, I just I, your pieces have a very happy emotion to them. The way you use your colors, your line work, and your shading, it's just yep. they're very cute. I it's feel like they job. would be awesome pixelated mm -hmm. as well. This one is by Walid Suari, and we have like a bunch of pieces from him. Really cool skin concepts. This one is a cyber monk Janus, and I think this would be really cool. Like any character that we pop a hood on, like it's going to be really cool looking. Um, I just really like this. The, you take away all the gears and the mechanical aspect of Janus, and you give them more of a futuristic instead of just gears. It's, it's more like lines and um, yeah, just looking at it right now. Oh my <laughs> it's almost like it reminds me of a Thanatos yeah. as well. It may be a combination of both, but I love it. Well done, Wally. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the discussion pieces segment next. And in this segment, we're going to discuss your pieces in vivid detail. Vivid. Vivid. All right, and welcome to the discussion pieces, everyone. Um, first off, we have Amanda Callison. Killing it as always, but this is really interesting for her. Um, not so exaggerated in the darkness, more with lightness, and also so much detail in the face as well. Her eyes aren't as big as she usually makes them. It's steering more closely to realism than it is that exaggerated, wonderful look that she has. 
I love this, but she still maintains that style of hers. It's the skin glow that she does so Absolutely. well. It's like hair, skin, and eyes. She has that like that look that has just like the glow of light. On I've everything. never I've never seen an artist utilize the soft round brush as well as Amanda does without making it look hokey and weird because mm -hmm. sometimes that brush is seen as a bit like, you know, a cop out instead of actually going and and shading it with a with a harder brush. This is Fantastic, you've killed yeah. it. You are so good at this. And I love that you did a zoom up or a zoom in of a dove flying across. It really adds a lot of personality to the piece, a lot of movement as well. Mm -hmm. This is a wonderful piece. That hair though, ooh. This next one is by Daniela Afonso. And it's Neith, of course, because everybody loves Neith. We I mean, have a lot I of Neith pieces in this week. This piece is my absolute favorite. It looks very similar to that other piece that we saw recently, but I don't know, I love this one. Anything set to a white background really just makes that piece pop. And the detail is insane, I just love it. It's very loose, or not loose lines, they're all very tight, very well done. Um, the gold shine, everything, down to like the skin. It's not blended in, all of the shades, all of the differential, or <laughs> differential, all the different shades of the skin are, are highlighted nicely. And the pose, so the whole, the, the pose that you use for this piece, yeah. I mean, it's a little more provocative, but it kind of goes with her kind of flirty-esque nature that we gave her in the game. It, it looks like it's innocent enough, but I, I, I want to give credit to you because, I mean, having the foot underneath another foot, but still showing it, yeah. or un underneath the, under le the other leg without uh, completely cutting it off, a lot of artists would try to take that shortcut and be like, oh, the leg's just under her butt, oh, yeah, so no, we don't have to draw it. it. Yep. And then the hand is behind her, but you've got it. It looks spot on. Like I this love is it. great. I That's love this a hard, piece. hard hand pose. Um, talking about like what you just said, like I love this piece because it um, mixes so perfectly that meek cuteness with her face with that sensual body posture. Because that body posture is like, hey, come and get it. But the face is like, oh no, buy me a drink first. So, well, well done, well done, Daniela. Oh, I love this one. What's the name, Gavin? Uh, Jekyll Job Crippled Janin. I almost had it. Nope, you suck. Yeah, well. Tell me what this is, Gavin. It's a mirror. It's, tell me what kind of a mirror. <laughs> I was just testing if I could read right now. <laughs> so it's happening. What, what's, what's it doing? What's it doing? What's it's, it doing? It's being art. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's being <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> um, this piece is a traditional pen on, uh, or, sorry, pencil on paper. And uh, it looks like you took it into uh, Photoshop, probably cleaned up the page. I know I'm when I use that much pencil shading, I generally make the uh, piece of paper just messy as hell. Yeah, you sometimes smudge it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this looks great. I, I love the like the cast iron furnace look to his belly. That's so cool, and it's a completely uh, like opposite take on what you normally expect. Uh, you know, Ymir, the father of the frost giants. Well, I like it that it's a more old style mm -hmm. mechanical suit. Whereas, you know, we have Digimir, but yeah. he's more more futuristic, obviously. Yeah. This is more like medieval. And like you said, with that furnace built into his belly, I think that's ingenious. I love seeing stuff like that. Like, yeah. it, I don't know, weird stuff like that. Something in the center, because most of the time the belly goes um, without detail or it's it's not really, it's overlooked. Oh, yeah because everything else is all about the armor. It'd be so it, much fun to see this, actually see this skin and have the abilities incorporate that. Like yeah. maybe the furnace opens and coal spills out oh, and that's God. his like glacial strike ability. That That'd be would cool be stuff. fantastic. Yeah, so really, really unique design. Thank you so much, Draggle Jeb. And he was kind enough to share it on Twitter, guys. So remember, you can share your pieces for us on Twitter, um, you know, ask for critiques or whatever, or just for us to retweet it. So don't forget that. This next one is by Jordan Alger, and it's Neath again, but with a very similar style. Yeah, very, it's a similar style, but it's much more with the uh, the black and white yeah. outline. It's much more comic booky. It is, it is for it sure. It looks actually like that. it would be a, a short comic book on yeah. me. Yeah, I love that too. I love um, when a piece has an outline of white around it. Oh yeah, it's such it a cool just, look. Yeah, it just makes it bounce a lot more. The detail is great. I really like it. Uh, the bow, you don't really get to see the, um, wh what is it when you carry the, the quiver, right? Yeah, yeah. Where you carry the, the arrows? You don't really get to see it too often with Neith, um, so it looks great. And the pose is really dynamic as well. It, yeah. It's it's very cheeky, like, yeah, come yeah. at me, bro. Yeah, exactly. But like, stare at my butt first, <laughs> which is what most girls do. Like, come at me, bro, but, you know, give me a compliment on my booty. Really? Uh, I've learned something today. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, Kat. 
All right, this next piece is by Joseph Taylor, and what? it's just a little bit creepy. It's so good. We, we always see Scylla either being a badass or being too cute, um, but it's really cool to see her in her environment. If you guys can tell, there's sunken ships behind her. Yeah. Those are sunken ships. And this is so wonderful because They're it adds to the kind of like, I mean, Scylla was never really portrayed as a little girl in her lore. Not at all. But she was portrayed as a beautiful woman that would uh, lure ships in and then she would, you know, end up being a giant tentacle monster. Yep. Um, but I feel like this has the same effect. If you saw this little girl who is like floating on the water, everyone would be like, um, we should probably yeah. check to make sure she's okay. And then giant tentacle monster. And even though there is contrast between the, uh, the surface and then below the surface, it still has, it both has like that sense of, of scary, of creepiness, of that mm. just like daunting, oh my God, that's creepy. Because up top you see the, the bow of the ship um, or other ships going down and her just glowing menacingly. And, then and you can below, see those dog eyes. Just That's the dog eyes. so cool. That's all you need really to like make them look creepy in my opinion. Just show oh, yeah. the dog eyes Without glowing. Great piece, Joseph. Great job, Joseph. This next one is by Joshua Basturesh and he drew Bastet, but I really like this. This is traditional on uh, paper, traditional pencil on paper. Maybe carbon, I'm not sure because of all the smudges and I know carbon smudges a lot. But this is insanely cool. Um, what differs this one from all the other traditional pieces we've had is that there is a stroke in every single part of her body. So to do the shading, instead of just doing a blending, he just did harder strokes or lighter strokes. If you can see like her belly. really cool. Yeah, her belly is a prime example of yeah. that. You can see the abs and everything where each pencil stroke gets lighter. Oh, yeah or darker, and I love that style. It's very beautiful. This is really great, and it gives it, uh, it makes this piece, because we've had people do, this is her card artwork for her alternative skin. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we've had a lot of people try to draw this, and this one stands out to me just because of how it's done. It's, Absolutely. It, 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 it's gonna be a piece I remember. Definitely. It's incredibly detailed. It's really, like, again, like I said, shading sometimes is a little daunting with pencil because it's just one color, it's monochromatic. So you have to make sure you shade it properly, and this is just done splendidly. Good job, Joshua. Fiesta-ish. This piece is by Kroll Kushi. So and we have a, I mean, we don't get that many, I mean, we get Artemis every now and then, but, but we, not as much we as don't have that should. many busts of her, like, you know, it's just her face. Also her looking so, so demure. Yeah, she's usually much more, uh, portrayed much more intense or in an action shot or something yeah, like that, or with Tusky. Usually. Yeah, I mean, she's a, a no-nonsense goddess. Yeah, but this is beautiful. I really love that you used um, not typical skin colors. You used more pinks than anything for her skin tone and for her hair. Mm -hmm. uh, that tiara is beautiful. It's very simple. You got the um, the hair strands over some part of it. Um, I just I love it. I love the brush that you used for the hair strands. I think you just used like a smaller brush in mm -hmm. general. But um, the nose is so cute. You guys remember I love noses. This is so cute. I love it. And her lips too. Girl, that's luscious. Actually, this is weird, but her eilids are really, really well detailed. Yeah. Like that's that's such a yeah, something absolutely. you can so easily overlook because it's like, all right, well, eyelids aren't that important. But yeah. they are. No, because there you have to get the certain um, depth in yeah, them. Yeah, the depth in them so it makes exactly. it look like the eyes aren't flat exactly. panes. These actually look like she has round eyes yeah. sitting in a skull. That's, you know, anatomically, this is great. Yeah, this is fantastic. And also, um, Speaking of like it being anatomically correct and everything like that, since she has that red hair, I love it that you added red eyelashes. Oh yeah. That's something That's that great. everyone overlooks. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if you have a ginger friend, look at their eyes. They're soulless eyes. <laughs> I was waiting on it, I was like, here it comes. <laughs> their eyelashes are light that could draw people in. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well anyways, thank you, Kroll. This is this is a wonderful piece. I'm kidding, I love redhead. Rupert Grant specifically. And this um, piece this is one. by Matthias DeFore. I love this graphing paper. We love graphing paper. It's yeah. so good, and it's really good for drawing as well, as you can tell from the uh, the floor that Bakasura is sitting on. He's so cute. This little chibi Bakasura. I don't think we've gotten a chibi like cute esque. Not Bakasura. I mean, we've gotten like uh, what is it? Uh, Crazy on Gaming and Willy Wolf have yeah, portrayed him as like. But that's like always a, the original. Yeah, that's like a, the original. Yeah, that was the original. He was yeah. a more chibi creature in general. Back yeah, then. The, the, yeah, he definitely was. So it's nice to see the more badass remodel of uh, Bacchusura. Yeah, this looking, is like a halfway point between precious. the old one and the new one. Yeah, but the thing is, with the, the thing I really like about this is that it might be like chibi in proportion, but he still maintains that scariness with the teeth yeah. um, in his face. So, really well. like, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah, I'm gonna eat you. And I love that you used blue pen to do the shading for his body. Yeah, great so. stuff. So great job, Matthias. Good job, Matthias. Oh my God. Guys, 
I'm going to be quiet for a minute and let you look at this. This is by Shodi Shh, not Nakasima. Yet. Not yet. Not Shodi yet. Nakasima. <laughs> let it sink in. Oh my god. This is insanely cool Amir skin. I, I, is it buffed? Yeah. It's, it's buffed the Amir. Yeah, it's buffed Amir. The ice wall is fists. <laughs> it's veiny, nasty I fists. I don't know what glacial strike is and why it's humming. <laughs> it has me a little. It's, no, it's his, it's, his, uh, it's his pecs. It's his pectorals and his rippling abs. Oh, oh, I see it now. Yeah, and they, they that's, hum. Yeah, that's creepy. Because he's probably like flexing him so much. <laughs> uh, this next one, or no, not this next one, but the, the next ability is Frost Breath at Q. The sneeze. target gets stunned due to disgust. I'm with you on that because I hate it when people sneeze around me. Especially at the gym, man. That's yeah, how you especially get at the gym, right? That's gross. Yeah. Um, shards of ice charging and then explode. I um, love that. He's just like, <laughs> he's just that pose. I love it. I love that his weapon is a dumbbell. Yeah. Um, and the detail, really, the detail on the main body. It's insane. It's creepy, but it's There's so wonderful. many veins. I it guess actually reminds me of Ren and Stiffy. This yeah, art style. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. It, I guess this is what Amir would look like if he was a human. Yeah. It's, Anatomically, this is what he would look it's like. It's disgusting. I'm not going to lie. This Thank is, goodness he's a nice man. This is like a mixture of what my nightmares and my dreams are made of. Oh, God. So, Shodi Nakasino, That's we enough can't of wait that. to see more from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, this is by uh, Vladimir Novitsky. And it's uh, Aphrodite skin concept. Where she is a cow. cow. I regret nothing. That's honestly my favorite part of this <laughs> whole here. piece. It's just like, I regret nothing. <laughs> I understand what I did. Yep. I, I don't regret it. And instead of blowing a kiss with first ability, she tosses, tosses a golden cowbell. I love this. Also, I love it because she brunette. Hey. Because <laughs> I like that. Um, I love this style. Taking such a, um, such a bulky animal that typically isn't known for being beautiful or anything like that and and creating such a beautiful uh costume for her mm -hmm. really and well i done. love what what you did with the bows the bows if you look at them they just they look like they're made out of fabric it's, yeah they're really great the details they have a nice great. sheen on them the shading on them is wonderful yep. and this is just a great piece uh this is i mean when you do a concept the fact that you gave us a, a front and back that's so i mean that's spot on that's what you should do if yeah. you give us a concept do front and back and if you got more time, do the abilities as well, because yeah. that's that's how it's done. If you can, like turntables are great too, like front, back, forward, upside down. Oh yeah, yeah. sitting down. The whatever. more you, the more angles you yeah. give it, the uh, I mean, that's what our actual concept exactly. artists do. So the only thing I would say about this piece is I would love to see her uh, have hooves instead of feet. Oh yeah, she does have been, the horns and everything yeah, yeah. like that. It'd be really cool to have that. But other than that, great nice piece. job. Wow, those were fantastic. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our top three. Take it away, David. That's, that's not David. That's not David. Oh, ooh, hey. Uh, this is by Alice P. And it's Thanatos and Nemesis hanging out in the snow. And if you guys can tell, Thanatos is covering or is sheltering her under his huge wings. That's so cute. And it fits very well. With oh yeah, I mean, we have the, the uh, <clears throat> goddess of justice and the uh, balancing of I'm, no, I, want, like I want to say thing. things, but that's balance of not, things. the balance of things. That's actually what it says in her lore. Yeah, directly from it. I'm <laughs> quoting, actually. I have it right in front of me. I mean, um, But it's just cute that she's like, oh, yeah, there's there's someone who deserves to be just, like, destroyed this direction. And then others is like, oh, where? Oh, all right. Let's go. Let me protect you, though. I, I just really like the long, full look he has almost for her, if, if this was even supposed to be romantic at all. Well, I mean, it's the mask, it's, and that's that's kind of the point, right? The mask says... That's true. Like, He's, like, sad. And that was the, the point of it. It was, but like, still, it's got a it's got so much emotion, yet yeah. so little, and that's what makes it so great. But the head tilt kind of makes oh, it yeah, as well. Yeah, kind exactly. of like a, oh, come here. Let me, let me give you a, <laughs> a little smooch. So, excellent job, Alice P, and congratulations on being part of the top three. This next piece is by Andrew Civic, who gave us the Bakasura hoodie piece that you see at the top left. He actually gave it. We us featured that, that one. in our uh, best of 2014 for alternative we did. submissions. It was and a really we cool piece. And we loved it. And he actually heard us, our cries of, please create more of these. And he did. You have Uller, and then you have Thor, you have Kumba Karne, who we don't see a lot of Kumba And Karne. I actually would totally, like, if that was a uh, sweater. Yeah, I, I would, would wear, wear the hell out of that. I That's mean, actually a really cool sweater. Beige is now the, the the hip color anyway. So and also that tattoo that he has on his belly yeah, would be fantastic solid. on a sweater. 
and then you have Cabracken. That's also a t-shirt I would wear. Yeah, oh, I would wear all of these. Yeah, these are all outstanding. This is fantastic. We need to figure yeah. out how to make these a real thing. We're gonna send these along to, to some people because we absolutely adore this style. This is so cool. And that Uller hoodie, oh my God, fantastic. With the, uh, with the Uller hood. Yeah, up oh, yeah. top. So good. That's so good. Excellently done, man. Really, you you're just killing it with these designs. I feel I like I, I wouldn't be able to not scream at people if I yeah. would be like, "You can't hide from my bow." <laughs> be like, "Gavin, you don't have a bow. You can't hide from it." Like, Whoa. <laughs> all, all right, get back inside, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Grandma. Um, the only thing I would say really about the Bracken one, it's something I noticed. Um, I would change the tone from green to more of a of a sea foam dark green just because it, it might resemble more Sobek than it does oh, Kabrakan. Right, right. So it'd be more like a bluish green, if yeah, you know more, what I'm saying. More, a little more teal. Yeah, just yeah, a little slightly more teal, but everything else is, is so good, good stuff. dude. Good stuff. Congratulations. And speaking of Kumba Carne not getting enough love, Eli Parsons was kind enough to give us this awesome Kumba Carne bust. This is awesome. This looks so good. Oh my God, this tiered with the uh, or, or paired with the Anubis uh, sculpt that we featured in our top 2014. Like, yeah. Fantastic. We would actually love to have these guys. Oh my God. I would Ooh, pay for shipping. Yeah, I mean, we it. have, uh, we do have that nice dis little display place right by our couches. Yeah. We could totally have that. So this is just beautifully done. And really, we don't get enough uh, Kumba Carne artwork. And so. really alternative submissions in general. So if you guys have any ideas for stuff like submissions that aren't traditional art or digital art and you just are like hey i wonder if i can send this into the yeah. art show the answer is yes sculptures send everything food. um if it's food you have to send it here to the studio I, and i know it's crazy but you actually have to do that and uh, label it for gavin it's not law Anna. no um well unless it's poisonous then please label it for gavin okay <laughs> so yeah guys congratulations eli parsons and all the other amazing artists for submitting your artwork and the top three as well so yeah, each of you get uh, 600 gems, so congratulations. Damn! Congratulations to all the winners, and remember, submit your artwork on our fancy new submission form, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!